Bull Gasol, Immortal Souls is another Korean import horror fantasy show on Netflix. <laughs> With a total of 16 episodes, this saga of immortality seeps through sands of time, from 1000 years ago to modern times. Although the story becomes complicated at some point, the series still has a great ending. If you haven't watched this great show, there are different opinions about this series. Some deemed it binge-worthy, while some call it too much drama with a complex story. So which one is true? To find out, stay tuned till the end because this cine visit is going deep in this series and we will give you our take on this. So let's devolve into it. <laughs> Bulgassel Immortal Souls is no doubt a great Korean series created by Jim Ji Hoon and Kim Yong Koo. It is one of the best Korean horror series out there and certainly a unique one. Embed with elements of horror, thriller and mystery, the story of this show stretches along a span of 1000 years. <laughs> Many fans and viewers of this show didn't realize that the Bulgasal series is based on Korean folklore. Bulgasal latterly translates into impossible to kill and in Korean folklore. There was once a monster called Bulgasari who came to life due to a woman's blood and died because of it as well. Unlike myths where Bulgasari eats all metal, here are Bulgasal feeds on human blood and flesh. Inspired by this myth, the writers of this show use the same idea to fit into these modern times. Made with a whopping budget of 40 billion won, which makes it one of the most expensive Korean series of all time, Bulgasal takes its viewers into a journey of curse, revenge and death. So what makes Bulgasal so different from other horror series? Is it story or something else? To know for sure, let's take a look at its premise. What happened in Bulgasal Immortal Souls? The story of Bulgasal takes place at a vast arc of time and to save you from any complexity, the cine wizard will try to keep it as lucid as possible. The story follows Dan Howell, a man cursed with immortality, who has been living past 600 years as a Bulgasal. He is looking for a mysterious woman, Kim Hawa who not only killed his family but also turned him into the Bulgasal. <laughs> then we can see how old's past as he was born with the Bulgasal curse and everyone around him wanted to kill him before he brings destruction upon them. In such an attempt, he is saved by a beautiful woman and later he is adopted by a powerful warlord. Raised as a fearsome warrior, Howell killed as many monsters as he can. But he is stabbed by the same woman who once saved his life. The woman, Kim Hawa, took his soul and made him a Bulgasal. As the story further unfolds, it is revealed that there is another Bulgasal. Ultai, who has some unfinished business with Kim Hava's incarnation, Min Sang. Things get complicated until the last episode where everything is explained. Then we know that 1000 years ago, there was a couple of Bulgasals, Kim Hawa and Tal Hawal, living in mountains separated from humans. But when Kim Hawa grows attached to two human children, her identity is revealed by Old Tai before the villagers. <laughs> to save her from the humans, Don Howell killed every human from the village. But he is killed by the children and the warlord with help from Kim Hawa. Before dying, Howell cursed the three of them and took the soul of Old Tai, 
who wanted to become a Bulgasol. As a result, he is born after 400 years as a human. But his past catch him when Altai murdered his family and framed Kim Hawa to turn him against her. To stop this cycle of curse and vengeance, Howell sacrificed himself in the end and reincarnated as a free man from any curse and immortality. What's good about this series? Bulgasol Immortal Souls is a modern take on the folklore, buried in half-truths and half-lies. The same technique can be observed in this fairy tale where the viewers are left behind with a dilemma of anti-hero and karma. Unlike myths, the characters here are presented with much of human nature's conflict and aspects like love, tragedy and hatred. The character of Dal Hawal seems innocent and reasonable to us because he is the man whose family has been killed. <laughs> But what did he do in his past? After portraying so long as a good person, is it right to forgive him for all he did wrong? Such dilemma, such psychological head for the viewers is used in the Bulgasol series. The show starts with a dark theme and it can be observed even in the first episode. Then this intensity gradually decreases with each episode. But one thing is sure, there isn't any hero in a Bulgasol. <laughs> All characters, even Kim Hawa, are anti heroes who are chained in a perpetual cycle of hatred, revenge, and curse. The thing about all these three is that they never die truly, just like Howell himself. So the first half shows the dark shade of each character in a different capacity to build a strong image in our minds. <laughs> then the second half is on a rather lighter note and then there comes the best thing about this show. Unlike the first half, which is all about monsters and death, the second half is all about the human side of non-human characters. Hawal, Min Sang, and Il Thai, the three anti heroes, are some really miserable creatures whose karma has brought them together. <laughs> Hawal just wanted to end his suffering. Min Sang, who can't let him go, and Il Thai, who is stuck between a state of half Bulgasol and half human. The human side of these three is visible to us in the last episode. So, in a nutshell, the series starts with a dark environment and dark side of each character but ended in such a way that everyone finally gets what he wants. <laughs> the cinematography of this show is just perfect. The gloomy and dark environment is not overly used but used in a way to increase the intensity of a scene. Such balance can be seen throughout this series, whereas if we talk about the performance of the cast, then it is right to say that they simply nailed it. <laughs> Especially the performance of Lee Yoon as Ul Tai is something to watch. Kawa Nara also delivers a powerful and emotional performance in her character of Kim Ha Wan and Ming Tsang. Every member of cast produces a charm of his character which perfectly aligns with the ongoing story. <laughs> The only bad thing or a negative point about this show is its pace. Yes, its pace is way too slow and the story builds up very slowly. Especially somewhere around episode 7, it almost reached at point where any person can live it by calling it a boring show. In this time where so much talent, so many amazing shows and movies are on disposal to watch. 
Belgasl slowly picks the pace, but again, the storyline, performance, and overall entertainment value outweighs this negative point. If you want to experience a horror series with a good performance and very good storyline, then give it a shot. Because Bulgasl Immortal Souls is definitely worth it. So what do you think about Bulgasl Immortal Souls? What do you like and dislike about this series? Tell us through the comment section and keep watching Cinevisor because you know it's all about cinema.